less than doubles the screens. All right, Kent. Ooh, a fellow Eternatus enthusiast. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Wow, they, they really don't like Thunderous. Like, they hate it. Like, it's so bad. Okay, we'll do that. Um, in this, in you, in gaming. They really hate Moltres. Or, they, they really hate uh, Thunderous. And yeah, that Moltres was jolly. I just noticed that. Oh, man. I have a muscle. Um, I, for I forget what it's called. It's the one going up the sides of your spine, sort of behind your shoulder blade, the scapular. Yeah, my scapular on my left side has been completely messed up for, like, a year. and I've been stretching it and rolling it out, and it just doesn't work. That guy, Ken, thank you so much for the sub. I'm psychic. It happened before it even popped up on screen. I definitely didn't see it on my notification. Thoughts on Cartana? Based. Further thoughts. Based until you, like, really get into thinking about the matchups it has. Doesn't like Regieleki, doesn't like Scarf Kyogre. I think Ferrothorn's better as, like, a typing sort of thing. Um, but Cartana definitely has a place in the metagame. Eternus plus Cartana? Um, maybe? I def If you're gonna run Cartana, run it on Rain is the issue, and I don't think Rain does well with Eternatus. I'd personally recommend Kartana Kyogre. Hey, and Biscuit, gifting a sub. Thank you so much. Thank you for gifting subs to, uh, to Mata. Or Matao. I don't know how to pronounce that name either. And we got the Defiant boost. It is time to game. It is time to game. What's Bronzong's role on your team? Bronzong is quite literally just a bandage for the for the Calyrex Ice matchup. It is so funny. It works. It, it works as a bandage, but it's that's all it's ever gonna be. Is it Mateo? It cuts it off on my thing. And Biscuit, thanks for dude. You're you're popping off today. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm more concerned with this Landorus Dynamaxing. Than the, than the Veltal going for anything, really. So I'm just going to double into this Lando. I don't care if they Snarl. I'm, I'm just going to switch out. Phew, thank you for the thank you for the follow, I assume. Or maybe you just popped in. No, that wasn't a follow notification. You just said hello. Hello! <laughs> Alright, there's their Eternatus. But now I have a speed boost, and I'm Specs. So let's think about this. We are close to a Hype Train. We are close to a Hype Train tonight. It's a five-man team featuring Bronzong. If, if if this team, if this team were the Beatles, uh, Bronzong would be. Um, oh, what's his name? The funny, the funny-looking guy with the bull haircut. Oh, that's all of them. Uh, Ringo. <laughs> Bronzong would be Ringo Starr. Okay, uh, this Eternatus did not survive turn one. I guarantee you this Eternatus has, has just forfeited its right to live. Or not the Eternatus, the Landorus. I'm so tired, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, like, messing up names. Dynamax Cannon. If it if it's Assault Vest, this is doing, like, 40. Hopefully it's not. Oh, it was not, and it's gone. It is gone. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. My next play is quite obvious. I'm gonna Dynamax Cannon his Eternatus, and I'm gonna go for a Max Lightning on the Thunderous, or on the Eveltal. Yep. I definitely didn't just spill water on my face. And in my eye. <laughs> There's the Eveltal. Sucker punch all you want, you can't live this turn. Unless it's like Charty Berry. Or no, Charty's the rock one. Which is the electric one? I always forget it. I forget. Anyways, he doesn't have it. No way. No how. Is Metagross worse than Bronzong? It's a completely different Pokemon, to be honest. It's a completely different Pokemon, to be honest. Uh, Metagross is like an offensive 
Psychic Steel type without Trick Room that mainly wants to be weakness policy, where Bronzong's like a completely defensive Trick Room Psychic Steel type that has Levitate and will usually... Oh, that doesn't fix your issue here, bud. Switching in the Lapras doesn't fix the issue here, bud. Wakan, that's what it is. Yeah, Metagross is like a weakness policy Dynamax Pokemon, where Bronzong's like a supportive Trick Room Pokemon. Guys, if someone subs in the next 25 seconds, we've hit a Hype Train. That just... Hello? Was that a crit? Okay, I was going to say, there's no chance that naturally KOs an Lapras. If it just barely KOs Thunderous and fails to KO Assault Vest Thunderous, there is no chance that was going to KO a Lapras. That's right, we're above 75 viewers. Road to partner, baby. We're getting this partnership. And there's the Eternatus. Um, my Eternatus, would you do the honors of executing this one? Losing turn one really sucks. It happens to the best of us. I've lost plenty of games turn one. I, I'll say this, like, their team has a huge Thunderous weakness. Um, and the best thing that they can do is... I think that's the thing about Pokemon. If you get completely wiped by one particular Pokemon that's really common in the format and you just keep losing to it, good players, despite that, will learn from that and they're going to change their team to make sure it never happens again. So I'm hoping that this guy learns that Thunderous is really common and that his team absolutely hates that matchup and he'll fix it somehow. That's the, that's the best outcome here. Hey. Okay. Who was the person in the chat that said, why do you have a, a Bronzong on your team? What does Bronzong do? You're about to learn. And also, they don't have they don't have a lot of restricteds. Um, here's what we do. We bring these four every single time. And we hope that their lack of a second restricted makes this super easy. I will say, though, even though they only have one restricted, I still have a solid chance of losing this game. There's still a pretty solid chance we lose this game. Because that is a Calyrex, and that is our worst matchup. If you lead poorly in this format, you will get blown up, yeah. I once went to a tournament just to watch and told everyone I went undefeated. That is a very good joke. That is good. Does Ice Rider get Zen Headbutt? Yeah, but it never runs it. It, it really doesn't run it. I'm going to Rock Slide here, and I'm going to go for the Dynamax Cannon on the Zapdos, because that should be fine. Does Meteor Beam Nihiligo one-shot Max Thundee if no Vest? I think you have to be modest, but I'm not sure. I don't think so. If it's like 4 HP, probably, but if it's not, it's kind of iffy. Alright, hopefully they're not going to one-shot my Eternatus with Fake Tears combo. If they do Fake Tears here, I outspeed them and probably one-shot them with Dynamax Cannon, though, so... Taunt. Yo, I don't care. Awesome. I'm choice specs anyways. Be gone, Zapdos. To the Shadow Realm. Please be 4 HP. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> to the Shadow Realm you go! Is he turned as timid or modest? What did that one look like? Tell me what it looked like. <laughs> Okay, we can still lose because there's a Calyrex. Yeah, that was modest. <laughs> Alright, there's the Dusclops. Um, don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dusclops, you're a turn too late to point that out to your <laughs> to your owner. You're about a turn too late to point that out. 
Exodia Obliterate. <laughs> that was good. Exodia Obliterate. Honestly. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, the, the Thunderous looks amazing in this game. In the back here, I can go Thunder Eternatus like every time. Uh, it's for my last Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to go Incineroar. I could I could go Venusaur, but I get a lot more value out of Incin here. This is like a real game. This one's like a really... This one's like a really uh, really good matchup. Not not like good for either of us. It's like a really... It's going to be a good game to watch is what I mean. Unless I lose turn one. You'll probably get top 5,000. No... No, I'm definitely getting more than 5,000. Like, because I, I have entered... I've entered Master Ball tier starting at Great Ball tier and went undefeated... Or no, lost like two games and won the rest of mine. And I was like top 2,000. So if you go undefeated all the way up from like beginner tier, I feel like you're probably going to be like top 200. 5k is really low for Master Ball tier. I'm going to say top 200, yeah. That's a big if, though. You know, obviously, we still have to not lose any more games. Zapdos Tornado. I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> this looks familiar. Okay. Um, I think I just stay in. This looks awfully familiar, guys. There are no safe switch-ins. There are no safe switch-ins. You can go into Zacian, but you don't want to. You don't want to go into Zacian right now on the Dynamax Cannon. You think it's cringe. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, Kurum White, low-key kind of busted. Um, yeah, I mean, like, the, the lead in this format does matter quite a bit. I will, I will give that to you. The lead in the format's huge. But if you have a bulky team, your lead matters a lot less than if it was, like, a frail hyper-offense team. If you're playing hyper-offense and your lead's really bad, you're just gonna lose that game. Like, 99% of the time, you're gonna lose that game. Uh, if it's, you know, if you're not playing hyper-offense, if you're playing, like, pretty bulky and you can position yourself on the field in a decent way, uh, it's it's not that bad. I'm just gonna tailwind, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do, right? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and call my opponent getting in their Zacian. I'm gonna say my opponent wants to get in their Zacian here. To which my response is going to be does my opponent get in their Zacian here? I really want to call it. I, I really do, right? Like, it's, it feels... It feels like the right thing to do here. To airstream the Zapdos and Dynamax Cannon the, th the Tornadus. But I... It also doesn't feel right. Should I switch? I have no need to switch here, really. Um... Okay, yeah, no, I think I think I still just try to annihilate the Zapdos, to be honest. I still do that, and here's why. Uh, I, I get to get in my Incineroar next turn regardless. I really lose nothing from this turn if I don't. So I feel like they're going to go Zacian, but I don't really lose it. They didn't! They didn't! They didn't go Zacian! Guys, they didn't, they didn't go Zacian! That's even better. If we survive this turn, that's even better. And most Zapdos are like life orbs, so if I take this max airstream, it's just, ooh, they're not liking that. Icy Wind? I believe my Eternatus. I believe in my Eternatus. I believe in the Eternatus that I believe in, that believes in me. That That is gaming at the moment. Um, I think that I'm going to survive this max airstream. I didn't survive it. That looks like a crit then. Why does this game hate me? <laughs> Why? I was I was guaranteed to survive that hit, and they gotta be life orbs, so I think I one shot there, if not. 
Yeah, no, I one shot there. Yeah, they literally just gave me plus two. And pretty much for nothing. Um, here I would say my play is to... I go grout on here. I guess I always go in center, that would have been smarter. I was trying to go grout on to catch the Kyogre. Lander. Yo! Okay, no, I, I, they didn't have the Zacian. There's just a Kyogre in the back. There's just a Kyogre in the back. I'll take it. There's just straight up a Kyogre in the back. That's all the proof I need of that. That's why they didn't switch into it earlier. Okay. Um, I'm going to max Airstream here. Hey, thanks for the sub, Todra. I have two turns of Tailwind. I could protect here, but I could also Swords Dance. That's a lot cooler. I think I'd rather just go into my Insen. This Landris is gone. I'm just going to say that. Alright. Max Flare? That's fine. Bet you I eat it up like Reese's Puff. That was that is not Reese's Puffs ask. That that was not Reese's Puffs ask. Please survive. Oh, we lost this. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if I didn't lose the Eternatus that turn, obviously I just kind of won. But. Uh. Yeah. I probably should just gone grout on there. All right, I mean, I have Swords Dance I can go for here, and I can go for a Fake Out on the Lando, but I really doubt it makes a difference now. That's unfortunate. Non-AV Thundy? Yeah, no, I'm not running AV because I really don't like facing off against Sleep Powder. So I'm running Lum. That was very not poggers, true. Okay. So here's the bright side. Here's the bright side. Um there is no bright side. I'm gonna protect here. I am going to attempt to flare blitz this landers, probably fail though. like AV's necessary versus Kyogre. I mean, that's kind of true, but I don't know. I don't think it's I don't think it's entirely necessary versus Kyogre. I've done pretty good versus Kyogre in most of my matches. Obviously not in this one due to a crit. Uh, but no, it hasn't really been too necessary considering I have like speed control on the team. And also, Eternatus is just consistent damage output versus Kyogre is a little bit too much. Alright, that's game, unfortunately. That Max Airstream on the Zapdos one-shotting my Eternatus with a crit definitely won them the game, but it's, it's kind of whatever. Oh yeah, and I mean, like, I also have sun, so I literally just set the sun up. <laughs> Alright, we'll continue battling. Our first loss, unfortunate. First loss of the season. Seven games deep, or eight games deep when we take a lot, we take a now.
What would be the best thunderous counter on a Ray Zacian team? Um, what do I have on mine? I always forget. What was my Ray Zacian? I honestly don't think I had one. <laughs> I don't think I had a thunderous counter. I just kind of got lucky with the matchups. Yeah, no, this team's super thunderous weak. Uh, run a bulky Zacian and put a Regieleki on the team. <laughs> that, that's my best answer there. I mean, obviously there are better answers, but <laughs> uh, apparently I didn't think of it when I built the team. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, okay. Uh, this is another team that really hates Thunderous. Uh, we're going to lead off Thunderous for that very obvious reason. Uh, we'll also go Grout on here in the back. And for my last Mon, I could go Venusaur, but I could also go Incineroar. I think I get more value out of Incineroar this game due to the two flying types. So we just do like the same thing. And if they lead off Lando, they're going to have a bad time. They're going to have a very, very bad time. Oh yeah, yeah, Gastrodon's really solid into either Thundee form because, like, you don't wall max airstream, but you eat the hit pretty well, and Gastrodon tends to want to run, like, Yawn and stuff, so that's always great, as well as Scald Burning. Yeah, I've seen a lot of Will-O-Wisp Calyrex recently, that's another reason I'm running Lum on my Thunderous. Not being able to get burned versus those sort of things is always really useful. And also, I would... Probably run. <laughs> I'd probably be running um, safety goggles on it if I didn't already have it on my Incineroar. So, okay, uh, this is pretty much the lead I wanted. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try to annihilate this Tornadus before I annihilate the Alandrus. Hopefully it's not White Herb. Every time I call the White Herb, it's true. I don't know why. And yeah, I'm going to get in the Incin here. It's probably going to take a Max Quake, but I don't really mind. Yeah, no. The Honorary Fourth Genie is, uh, is Eternatus. Dude, if he rock falls the Thundee, I'm going to lose my mind. By the way, Pokemon Legends Arceus spoilers here, so plug your ears for the next 10 seconds if you don't want to hear it. Uh, now that we have Enamorous, it's possible to have four different genies on the field in a VGC match. You guys back? Okay, cool. I was just talking about Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, I saw the ability of the Mon I just talked about. It's crazy. There's the Tailwind. I can go ahead and Quake here. I don't really need the Incineroar. If I somehow live this, which I really doubt I do, um, I can cycle another Intimidate. Which is awesome. Incineroar and Grim are gym bros. Life or moment, yeah. Alright, so it wasn't Focus Sash, which honestly kind of sucks. I was really hoping it was. I was kind of really hoping it was there, because I'd prefer two speed boosts before I do this next thing. Uh, I'm going to get in my Eternatus here, and I'm just going to double into the Groudon, as they likely send in the... Um, they likely send in the Zacian. 
Or maybe a or Kyogre? Technically, Kyogre's ability would go first, so I can go Groudon pretty safely. Yeah. So here I should be able to go for a max airstream into the Kyogre. And uh, I'll protect my Groudon here as well. Since the sun's up, I eat this hit pretty well. Water Spot pretty much bounces off of a Max Thunderous um, when it's Dynamax in the sun. Oh yeah, no, this guy's not going to have fun versus Lake Amy Eternatus. Especially if he doesn't get rid of the sun, I just one-shot Zacian in the sun with uh, Flamethrower. Alright, this might no longer bounce off of me. Ooh, that might... I might die. I didn't expect it to do that much. I keep forgetting Life Orb. Alright, uh, can you somehow live this, bud? You want to tank the hit? Yo, maybe you guys were onto something when you said I should probably be running the Assault Bust. Maybe you guys were onto something. Uh, yeah. How many turns of Tailwinder left? <laughs> they still have two turns of Tailwind. I so lost this game, dude. I so lost this game. Yeah, no. Support Thundee is obviously really, really good. I don't know, man. I'm just so used to running the, the non-AV Thundee. I'm so used to it at this point because I ran it on Showdown for so long. And I, like, hit top 300 with it. So I, I kind of don't want to run the AV now. Just just for consistency. I don't want to have to relearn how to play the Thunders. Alright, that's two losses in a row now. The Kyogre of an Eternatus Enhancer than it is its own Pokemon on this team. <laughs> Low-key, that's like all it does. Hey, Clover, what's up? Okay. Uh, so we are facing the fabled screens. Screens, uh, Thundee. We do literally the same thing. Like every time. Like, like every time. I don't know. I, I really like Thundee on Groudon, mainly just because it's... If they Intimidate versus me, it's just, like, over. Also, versus, um... Was it? The Eternatus tends to bring out the Incineroars on people's teams on lead. Uh, since they know it can't Dynamax, they feel much more comfortable leading off Eterni or leading off versus it uh, to fake out. So being able to lure those out with Thundee on the lead is really nice. What's the draw of Evil Dog? Uh, basically, it's just, like, Eveltal has a pretty decent matchup into Kyogre, Calyrex, and Groudon. It does, like, good versus all of them. It doesn't do amazing against any of them besides Calyrex. Um, but Zacian only does okay versus them, so it's just, like, a consistency thing. I don't know how to explain it. Like, Assault Vest, Eveltal just really makes Zacian so much more usable. Okay, this is the game where I don't face an opposing Assault Vest Thunderous, and I annihilate it. I'm going to double the Thundee. It might, it might be support Thundee, obviously, but... 
Actually, maybe I just... Maybe I do Airstream. I'm gonna Airstream that. Um, it's probably support Thundee, but I'm still gonna try to KO it. Yeah, this, this looks like a support Thundee. Alright, if they Dynamax the Eveltal, that's kind of like the dead tell that it's support Thundee. Okay, no, it's it's regular Thundee. Let's see if I one-shot. Let's see if it's not AV. Yep, okay, cool. Funny move. Just annihilate the Dynamax. Can you snarl? That'd be so cool if you snarled me this turn. And it's a clean two shot as well. Alright, Dark Pulse, that's fine. I got my speed boost. This kind of just bounces off of me. Yeah, I hit the delete button real hard on that thing. Alright, yeah. No, uh, here I literally just max airstream the Eveltal. And even if it's Yawn on the Gastrodon, I still just Dynamax Cannon it because if they Yawn my Thundee, I, the Lumberry saves me. Guys, it isn't wearing a vest. Listen, here's why. Here's the real reason I can't run Assault Vest Eveltal or Assault Vest uh, Thunderous. Thunderous is meant to have its chest exposed, dude. You see the you see the muscles on this dude? It'd be a shame if I were to cover those up. I'm gonna say I win this game. Especially if they yawn my Thunderous right here. That'd be really funny. Ice Beam? Uh, we're fine. Breeze me. See if I care. Hey, there we go. That's the forfeit I wanted. That's the forfeit I wanted from one-shotting your Dynamax.